Hey, welcome to Cosmic Tides. We're going to see how the cosmic currents are pulling for the single Capricorns. This is going to be your bonus love reading. Down below, I will have the timestamp if you want to skip past my talking. Links for my Spotify, Apple Music, and Instagram will be down below, as well as my email for $20 personal readings. Due to a high volume of requests, I need at least 2-3 days to get them done after transactions, so I appreciate you for your patience. Also, I'm so excited to announce I just opened a spiritual store on Etsy. Currently, I have the Aphrodite collection available. I'll be posting more products and ritual sets this week, so definitely go check that out. I'll have a link for that down below. Also, before we begin, just keep in mind that these energies are interchangeable. This could be you, your partner, whoever. This definitely could be a vice versa reading, okay? So basically, um, I'm seeing an old flame could be reaching out to you here. Okay, but I'm seeing you're wanting to release this. Um, yeah, I'm seeing you're wanting to release this. You're wanting to move on. Okay, so I definitely see an old flame is trying to reach you, um, trying to relight the flame. And I'm just seeing, yeah, you're just wanting to move on here. You're wanting to release this person. Yeah, you're wanting to go forward into a new chapter that's pulling you. Okay, I'm also seeing the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture. Some of you could be changing your careers. Could be. I see also for some of you, this is like a job offer. For some of you, you could be starting your own business. Um, for a lot of you, I'm just seeing this is like an abundant new chapter that's just pulling you away from this person. And I'm just seeing, yeah, especially with these two cards on top of each other, it's like for a lot of you, it's either like a job offer or a business, something with your career. I'm seeing you're just wanting to release this person because you're being pulled into, um, yeah, pulled into abundance here. This is the inflow of abundance that's pulling you. Yeah, lavish abundance here. So for a lot of you, I'm just seeing um, this is a very abundant new chapter you're being pulled into, okay? And I'm just seeing um, you're wanting to give birth to your dreams here, okay? So for a lot of you, yeah, this is definitely um, either like a job offer or a new business, something about your career here I'm seeing, okay? And I'm just seeing also you're just wanting to nurture yourself and heal as well. So a lot of you are also just being pulled into a chapter of healing in your life that is going to bring you a lot of abundance I'm seeing, okay? Yeah, I'm just really, and it's like this person here I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing this person is still watching you, okay? So this person is watching you, um, yeah, it's like this person's kind of, this person doesn't take rejection well, I'm seeing, okay? And um, I'm seeing it's like you just want to be single, okay? I'm just seeing this person is definitely watching you, stalking you for some of you. Um, and this gives me almost like a creepy vibe. This gives me like a creepy vibe. So like I'm going to say for some of you, you might want to get like a new security system for your house. You might want to get some cameras for your house, okay? Because this is really creepy. This is like somebody hiding in your bushes, I'm seeing. I don't like that at all. And I'm just seeing you're really just wanting to be single because this person's unstable. Yeah, this person's unstable. Okay, so for a lot of you, that's definitely this creepy vibe that I'm feeling. Um, definitely make sure you're being vigilant if you're walking around, going out. Okay, um, even if it's just a walk around your town, just make sure you have like, I don't know, like pepper spray, a taser, dead ass something because this person is like really unstable and creepy. Okay, so definitely... Um, really just be vigilant about your surroundings, okay? This person's very unstable, all right? And I'm seeing it's like you do want something. You do want something. You do want a relationship. I, it's like you want to be single, but I'm seeing you're not opposed to a relationship, but you just want somebody more like-minded like you, right? Because this other person that's trying to basically, um, yeah, this other person that's trying to come back, I'm just seeing it's like you already know what it is I'm seeing, okay? You already know what it is. I see you're, you expect the worst from dealing with this person, and I see you're choosing to honor yourself here. Um, yeah, I'm just seeing you're choosing to honor yourself, how you feel about this. You're choosing to honor your own intuition, and I see you deciding to cut this person off here, okay? And, um, yeah, because this person's, like, unstable here, and I'm also seeing it's like you're really coming into your own. I see you starting a brand new chapter here. I see you continuing to move forward, and it's like this person doesn't want to let you go here. This person also has a codependency I'm seeing, and also I'm seeing a little bit of disillusionment here, okay? So this person it might be, like, mentally unstable I'm seeing, so please be careful whoever's connecting with this message. Okay, um, because I'm just seeing like this person doesn't want you to go forward. This person doesn't want to let you go, which I really don't like here, especially if they're, um, 
it's, it's especially if you rejected them and you released them and they're stalking you here i really don't like that energy like this person's mentally unstable i'm saying so please be um cautious vigilant okay and it's like you guys kind of really feel that too your intuition is really talking to you here and it's like you feel that this person is unstable and this is not somebody you want connected to you energetically and i am seeing you're cutting the cord some of you i am seeing you do like cord cutting rituals here Okay, but I'm just seeing this person is not really wanting to let you go here. It's like they try to keep on putting their claws into you. And that really is kind of creepy I'm seeing. Okay, so please be careful. Be vigilant. All right, because I'm seeing it's like you're wanting to go forward. You want to go into a new chapter here. Okay, I'm seeing, yeah, you can do anything. I see you taking charge of your life here. I see you can manifest anything you need to be a success in your, in your next part of your journey. And it's like, because of this, I think this other person sees this too. And I think that's also why they don't want to let you go here. Because this person sees you doing really good. Um, and I'm just seeing, it's like, you're just trying to take charge of your life and go into this brand new chapter. And I'm just seeing this person doesn't want to let you go. Again, this person doesn't want to let you go. This person wants to um, heal the situation. This person doesn't want to give up, I'm seeing. Okay. And I'm also seeing um, this person doesn't want to give up. Yeah, this person wants to be with you. This person wants to have um, deep feelings of peace and happiness with you. Uh, but I don't really like the energies of these, of this card. And I'm, what I'm seeing here is, yeah, it's like this person just doesn't want to let you go here. This person wants to be with you. But what I'm seeing is you really dodged a bullet here, especially with these two cards, okay? Yeah, you dodged a bullet here because I see danger with this person up ahead. Okay, and I see you're choosing to honor yourself and make long-term plans for yourself. And um, I'm just seeing a lot of abundance coming around you here as you take yourself out of um, out of this old chapter and you go into your new. Because I'm definitely seeing, and actually this is kind of weird. So, so some of you, you're dealing with this person or you were just dealing with this person. For others, I'm seeing this is like somebody like way deep in your past here. And I just see it's like just something that you're wanting to get out of because it's like you know no good is going to come from this situation okay and i see you're divinely protected and guided okay and i see you're you're getting yourself out of this situation going into your new chapter i see the ending of a difficult situation um some of you i'm seeing you're taking a trip to get away from this person you might be moving to get away from this person um that's how like extreme this energy is that i'm feeling here Okay, but for a lot of you, I'm just seeing you're getting yourself out of the situation because you know no good is going to come from this. It's like, also, I'm seeing this person is talking all this like, you know, oh, I want to be with you, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't want to give up, blah, blah, blah. But it's like this person still has other people around them, too. So I definitely see you're really dodging a bullet here with this one. Okay. And I'm just seeing, it's like you're getting out of this situation and I see this person definitely could be reaching out to you again. This person's like waiting here for you. And I see you're, you're reviewing the, the facts of the situation and you're making a fair and objective decision to leave this person out in the cold because first of all, you are your own security I'm seeing, okay? And you're, you're stable by yourself. You don't need anybody else to make you um, whole here. And this person is very unstable. And like I said, you're stable all by yourself and you don't need somebody coming into your energetic field and fucking you all up here. Cause I'm seeing you want to make a good investment of your time, your energy, your money. Okay. And you're tired of, um, taking care of other people too much. You're tired of being taken for granted. I'm seeing, okay. A lot of you, it's like you emotionally take care of this person and it's draining for you. It's a burden. Okay. So I see for a lot of you could be blocking this person. Yeah, you could, could definitely be blocking this person or just um, not answering them, like blocking communication. Okay, but also be really careful because I am seeing like, especially with the hiding in the bushes thing, like if you're blocking this person, this person can go to extremes here to um, talk to you. So please be careful. Okay, because like I said, um, I saw somebody like hiding in the bushes here. So it's like you could block this person and then I'm seeing it's like, they're showing up at your house here. So please be careful. Be vigilant. This is some creepy energy here. So um, just make sure you're being vigilant of your surroundings and taking care of yourself. Because I'm seeing this person is not wanting to give up easy. Okay, this is kind of like really creepy I'm seeing. And it's like, you're coming also, you're coming across as the king and queen of um, water. I just see you're really well balanced here. Okay, um... Because it's not this other person. This other person is very unbalanced. Very, very unbalanced. Um, 
I'm just seeing for a lot of you, it's like you dodged a bullet with this one. Okay, you're getting yourself out of a sticky situation. Um, and I'm just seeing also, also like this person that you're dealing with here, like they just have like something very unstable about them mentally, excuse me, mentally. And like emotionally, it's almost like an illusionment. Like they're dis disillusioned here. Because it's like, um, it's like I see them trying to hand you a beautiful cup, right? But there's nothing inside of that cup. So it's like, like this person's pretty um, deceitful, I'm seeing. So definitely be mindful of that energy here. Because I really don't like that. Okay, so whoever's connecting with this message, I hope this is able to help you. Um, this isn't going to resonate with everybody, um, especially as the channel is growing. So definitely feel free to check out any of my old videos. Time is fluid, so they never expire. You might find something from like two months ago that can resonate with you now in your current situation. Also feel free to check my um, channel next week. You might find something there for you. Okay, so some signs that you could be dealing with here. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo. Um, I see Virgo twice. You could be dealing with um, a Gemini, a Pisces, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries or an Aquarius, a Libra. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. I hope that was good for you guys. Definitely be safe, okay? Be vigilant, like I said. Um, and yeah, I will catch you guys next week and make sure you check out the Etsy store. I will have a link for that down below. And like I said, I will be posting up, um, more products and, um, ritual sets this week. So definitely check that out. Okay. All right. Bye.